Welcome back to SBR Forum Videos. Who will lead the NFL in passing yards this season? Well, the sports books have spoken and the odds are out for you to bet on who you think is going to be the number one passer in the NFL this year. Of course, in 2014, we had a virtual tie between Ben Roethlisberger and Drew Brees at the top spot in passing yards at just under 5,000 yards. But this season, there tends to be a little bit of value here. And Jason Lake wrote up a nice article about a huge underdog who could be one of the better bets to lead the lead in passing this season. But we'll start off with a couple of the favorites here. And the big favorite and almost every sports book offering this prop is Andrew Luck. Of course, last year he came in third, just over 4,700 yards and 40 touchdowns. But, of course, they added Andre Johnson and uh, still have, of course, T.Y. Hilton and then to spend a first-round pick on a wide receiver as well. This should be a very prolific passing offense. And even though they should run the ball a little bit more with Frank Gore, on the team this season. Andrew Luck should be a pretty good bet to be in the top three in passing yards this season. He comes in at around plus 350 at most sports books, four to one at a couple like Ladbrokes. If you're taking a look over there, probably a good bet here. But there are a couple of other guys that I think I have my eye on here as well, as well as Mr. Lake. We'll start off though with the guy that was tied uh, last season for first, and that was Ben Roethlisberger. Of course, he's going to be down his best run, one of the best running backs in the league, and Le'Veon Bell for the first three games of the season. That should really uh, help his passing yards numbers. He still has a ton of weapons in that offense to get the ball to, both in the red zone and, of course, Antonio Brown, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. He's at 7-1 to one at most sports books right now, 6-1 to one and a couple of others here that if you're taking a look there, but still really good value for Ben Roethlisberger as well, who, as I mentioned earlier, was just under 5,000 yards in 2014. But that big underdog happens to be Tony Romo coming in. It's probably one of the best values we've ever seen in a prop like this, and I'll give you a couple of reasons why, and I completely agree with Lake's assessment here. Last season, Romo was 14th in the NFL in passing yards, 3,700 yards. He threw 34 touchdowns, though. That number should stay the same, but I expect, just as Lake does, that this, these odds for the uh, this passing yards are going to go up mostly because of the loss of DeMarco Murray now that uh, now but was still with one of the best offensive lines in the entire NFL Tony Romo is going to have to chuck the ball down the field a lot more this season without a credible running game Darren McFadden is not the answer in the backfield for this team and even though I do think that McFadden should have a pretty good bounce back year with the Cowboys, uh, Tony Romo is absolutely going to be in the top five in passing yards this season. Should easily be above 4,500 yards this season now that he doesn't have one of the best running backs in uh, in all of football in his corner. So I think Romo at 30 to one, yes, 30 to one below guys like Tom Brady, Philip Rivers, Eli Manning, and Matthew Stafford is probably a better bet than most of those guys I listed, and probably just as good of a bet as a couple of the favorites in Luck. Rodgers and Ben Roethlisberger. So at uh, 30 to 1, Tony Romo is a pretty good uh, underdog bet here to lead the league in passing this season. I would not be surprised if he is threatening to win that award here late in the season. That'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out a couple of our other NFL previews as we head into training camp next week. But until next time, for SBR Forum Videos, I'm Jordan Sharp. <laughs> <laughs>